what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here this will be a spoiler free review for the watchers the watcher the watchers is directed and written by ishana night Shyamalan, and it is starring dakota fanning georgina campbell owen Foray, or as i like to call her uh trash hardesty <laughs> from texas chainsaw and then you have oliver finnegan now this film is revolving around a 28 28 year old artist named mina who finds her shelter after getting stranded in an expansive untouched forest in western ireland she unknowingly becomes trapped alongside three strangers that are watched and stalked by mysterious creatures each night now the watchers i would say is a more than adequate directorial debut from miss Shyamalan. while it offers flat characters to spend its runtime with the events that unfold are compelling enough as are its themes that can become a bit lost or seem all over the place. I wouldn't call this a great film, but I fell in love with aspects of it that will have me definitely checking to see what Shyamalan does next. And I just really dug the potential that it displayed. I feel like this could have worked better as some sort of episodic show since it's based on a novel. Some of the themes I feel like just got lost and tossed to the wayside, but it was fine for what it was. I think the way it's directed elevates a lot of the problems I had with the screenplay. If it wasn't already clear, yes, I liked The Watchers. It's a story centered mostly on Mina, our American protagonist living in Ireland. She's stricken with guilt and grief over an unfortunate event that happened over 15 years ago. She's allowed this one event to define her entire existence so much it's clear she doesn't like being herself. In fact, she pretends to be someone else, I believe, when it comes to hooking up with men in Ireland. There's some type of sequence in the film where she's shown obviously pretending to be someone she's not because of how much she despises herself over that event from 15 years ago. Mina becomes stranded in this expansive forest only to find company in our other characters, Kira, Daniel, and Madeline, three other adults who find themselves trapped in a location known as the Coop. Our titular watchers come out at night and observe all four of them through a mirror that keeps the watcher's appearance hidden. Why are they doing that? Go watch the movie. <laughs> now, this screenplay, as mentioned, offers some of the most bland characters. While we learn bits about them over time, I was never all that concerned with who would or wouldn't make it out. Shyamalan's screenplay makes up for these lackluster characters by constantly keeping the apparent danger they find themselves in engaging in one way or another. So while I might not be invested in their survival, I'm invested in the danger they find themselves in and how they actually can get out of it who gets out of it i don't care <laughs> now to mina's credit though i was invested in her journey and found her relatable to an extent but everyone else was disposable goods as far as i'm concerned mina's journey begins to parallel a lot of what is uncovered about these watchers which only made my attachment to the character grow which is all i can really say for that character outside of that there is some aspects about her that i understand are a bit dull she is boring as a person, but it's understandable considering the trauma that she's dealing with. And I think Dakota Fanning does a great job at portraying this character. Now, I commend this screenplay for relying on fear of the unknown more than its cheap jump scares that thankfully are not in great supply, but are present. Shyamalan builds mystique around these creatures through these blurred glimpses we get and unsettling sounds for the most part. So the terror solely lies in what I don't know and this growing feeling of isolation, which is constantly present during the watchers, which can be quite terrifying outside of just constantly going to the well of jump scares and loud noises. At times, the dialogue can be a bit rough, but the watchers reliance on exposition dumping definitely took the cake. While some bits like rules related to the creatures as it ties into what not to do when leaving the coop and what not to do at night are tolerable, Madeline's constant exposition dumps are not a highlight for this screenplay, despite her educational background. Although Shyamalan justifies this exposition dumping in a not so shocking fashion during our third act, the twist is undermined thanks to a prior scene that revealed a bit too much about the Watcher's history. So when the twist came, I was like, ah, there's the full picture. It just didn't land the way it should have. The shock factor was cheapened by us discovering way too much about the Watchers at one point prior to us getting this final twist. Now, when it comes to the performances, Dakota Fanning, she did a phenomenal job. I loved her in this role. Dakota Fanning, I'm great. I'm glad to see her in horror, thriller. I, I think it would just be more thriller. 
I'm glad to see her in these movies once again. She did an amazing job when I was a kid in this one film, Hide and Seek, and Dakota has just been a tremendous actress ever since she's been in the spotlight as a young girl. So seeing her in this role, I was happy to see her in. She does a great job conveying trauma, grief, and just someone who is clearly not happy with life. She does a great job at it. She's excelling at it tremendously. Now, everyone else, they're fine. Georgina Campbell from Barbarian, tremendous performance everyone else i think does a great job as well at times i will say some of their delivery is a bit cringy when it comes to the lines that they're working with like i said earlier the dialogue can be a bit rough but all in all i would say the performances were not bad at all they were adequate to good with dakota being the standout for sure for me now when it comes to the direction Shyamalan, i think is gonna have a bright future ahead of her because she definitely has an act for building suspense, building tension, and she knows what to do to build this without relying on loud noises and jump scares. Like I said before, the way they are reliant on this feeling of isolation throughout most of the runtime is great. Shyamalan does that tremendously through the cinematography and a lot of the great camera work you see where the subjects are in the focus and we'll often have some tracking shots around the subjects and these overhead shots, aerial shots of the woods. All of that is good enough to keep you scared and to build fear and terror in what you're watching on screen. Something that is lacking in a lot of other pure horror films that like to go to the well of, like I stated, pulling out jump scares, loud noises, things that are not gonna have a lasting impact and they actually do become a bit redundant and tiresome when you're watching a horror film. But The Watchers is interested in offering up scares through things that'll stick to you and will actually unnerve you the entire time. So when it comes to the pacing, the pacing I thought was fine for what it was. I never thought that anything overstated its welcome on my screen. I can't admit at times it was starting to drag. And the third act is honestly the most engaging part of the film. The other two acts, while tolerable, I can understand why some people coming out of the watchers are like, what the hell did I just watch? Can I get my money back? I get where you're coming from, but I never found anything in the film to just be complete dud or boring. I thought every aspect of it was engaging and kept building up to even more engaging aspects, especially that third act, which is completely engaging and very suspenseful and very on the edge of your seat worthy, at least for me anyway. Now, the sound design, another tremendous aspect of this film, the way that adds to build the terror around these creatures, keep you in, keep you engaged and intrigued about what they are, why they're doing what they're doing. All of that is enhanced through this tremendous sound design and the score that's accompanying everything as well. So when looking back on this, I think I would give the watchers a solid seven out of 10, but you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification, you can never miss a video in the description. I have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.